Hi guys, I'm Sally Lindley. Welcome to this episode of Shop with Sally. On this episode, we're going to chat about how to make the ultimate shopping list for your wardrobe for this season. Now, in the last couple episodes, you've been working on your personal style collages and putting that together as well as editing your own closet. Now we're ready to look at the collages and make a list of everything you need to purchase for your wardrobe and for your look for the season. So what I want you to do is pull out those personal style collages and make a list of everything pictured in those pictures that inspires you and that you love. So if you're looking at a picture of Bridget Bardot and she's in a fantastic t-shirt with a ribbon in her hair and um, some high-waisted jeans and a fabulous belt, then you're going to make a list of a hair ribbon bow, a tight t-shirt, a high-waisted jean, and a brown leather belt, or whatever it may be. So I'll do a couple of examples for you guys below. And what I want you to do is make a complete list for every situation that you're in. So you'll have one for your workout slash, you know, gym clothes. You'll have one for your work clothes. You'll have one for date night. And you'll have one for, like, casual dressing or, like, your weekend dressing. And then also have one for going out with the girls, which, I don't know, could be also the same as date night, whatever. So make your list according to your personal style collages. Now, if you haven't done that, um, you need to go back and do it because it's the most important thing when you're working from your uh, on your wardrobe. In order to get these things together, you have to have some sort of visual clue or idea. And if you're not really inspired necessarily by um, magazine pictures or by certain celebrities or old film icons or old musicians or whatever if you haven't really found anybody and you but you have a picture in your head of what you want I'd recommend sketching it or you know finding some way to visually represent it so you can then recreate it in your closet um, and first of course before you set a budget I want you to do this shopping list so don't forget to do everything from your accessories so start from your, your head and go down all the way to your feet include shoes and it doesn't mean you have to buy all these things but when you do this shopping list it's a good list that you'll reference in the next episode to go back into your closet and see what you have that's already on your shopping list since you've already done your it, you should only be left with things in your closet at this point that you love and that you love to wear and that you feel good in. Um, that way we'll have a clear idea and a clear understanding of what you need when you are going shopping again. So all that being said, I want to, again, for you to make sure that you cover your workday clothes, your date night clothes, your girls night out clothes, your casual clothes, and your gym clothes. And then anything else that, you know, clothing wise or like uniform wise that you might need for your life. And then go through your, your collages, make sure you have personal style collages for each situation. And then when you're going through those collages, make a list of the shoes that are inspiring to you on those lists, and then put it together in a series of outfits on the shopping list. So. For example, for my gym clothes, I love Angelina Jolie and Tomb Raider. I know, super obvious, but probably a somewhat hilarious reference for my yoga um, clothes. So what I put on my list for that are black rubber or those um, elastic hair ties for my hair. I also have black headbands because I like to put headbands on because I'm a sweaty, sweaty person. Um, so I need headbands to hold my hair back so doesn't, my blow dry get, doesn't get all messed up. Um, and then I have uh, my black cotton Fruit of the Loom t-shirts. I have, excuse me, sweatshirts. I have black cotton Fruit of the Loom t-shirts, short sleeve t-shirts in smalls, all in smalls and extra smalls. I have my sports bras from Lululemon and from Champion online um, that I get on Amazon.com. I also have shorts, tight uh, Lululemon running shorts that I like to wear to yoga when it's really hot. Um, but most of the time I'm in black Lululemon leggings, as I've told you guys before. And then I, um, for, for yoga, I wear flip-flops, so I have a black pair of Javiana flip-flops. And then I also have black ankle socks from Fruit of the Loom, which I featured for you guys this week, um, or excuse me, from Hanes, black athletic socks, and my black Adidas running shoes that are my workout shoes if I'm going to go for a work, walk, a work. If I'm going to go for a walk or a jog or do something else sporty and I need to have shoes on. So, for instance, that would be my shopping list for my gym slash workout clothes. Example. Another example, and I'll put these below again, is for my work clothes. I have Phoebe Philo as my inspiration for my work clothes as well as Giorgio O'Keefe. So for my Giorgio O'Keefe look, I got 
a kimono from Chinatown in New York from Pearl River. That's a black shell and monk's robe. And I wear that with a little white crossover shirt underneath. So I have a black robe on my shopping list. I have um, just a little delicate charm jewelry necklace that I saw on uh, Georgie O'Keefe in one of her pictures that I put down as my accessories. I have, um, and then for Georgie O'Keefe, it's also fantastic like sandals, really comfortable sandals for shoes, flat sandals. So that's my shopping list for one look for work. And then my other look for work that I like to do is Phoebe Philo inspired. And so Basically, that's lots of great men's button-down shirts and silky kind of pajama-ish kind of button-down shirts, all in lighter colors and light blues and, and whites and, you know, things of that na nature. So I have four of those in my list because I want to have one for every workday and then one day where I wear my my um, robe that's Georgie O'Keefe inspired. Um, and then so with Phoebe, I have the button down shirts and then I have um, black men's trousers. And I like to do a couple different fits because depending on how hormonal I am or how I'm feeling about my body that day, I might want to wear a really nice big men's trouser. So I have like a larger size fit trouser, a loose fit trouser. I have a pleated trouser on the list that's again a more loose fit. I have a straight leg trouser that's a little bit more in between a skinny and a loose. And then I have a skinny men's trouser, all in black, that I like to wear with my button down shirts. And um, and of course I also have a tailored jacket on there because sometimes I like to rock, rock a black tailored jacket. And not necessarily a matchy matchy suit but something that could be seen as a suit um, I have my uh, black leather belt on there that looks great with the Giorgio O'Keefe Buddhist monk robe as well as with the men's trousers and the button downs if I decide I want to look super chic and tuck it in tuck down one of my button down shirts I can do that um, I have a luxury watch and that for me is my Hermes Midor watch um, and then I have dress socks if I choose to wear socks and then on my list for my Phoebe Philo look she always is wearing really great fantastic trainers so I have you know I like to have two or three different trainers in rotation at a time and Vans slip-on style shoes in rotation at the time so I'll show you guys how I break down my shopping list below so you can see for for example for my gym or for my work wear, how I do my shopping list. Um, and then, you know, for example, for my casual wear, my whole inspiration is um, Daria Werberly and the model and flannel, like bears, bear daddies. So for bears, you know, that's super simple. It's a beanie, it's a button down flannel, it's a great jean, and for summer I like to do a jean cutoff, so I like to have three or four different fits of jean cutoffs like I do for the men's trousers. I like to have an extra large, it almost feels like a skirt for my cutoffs, um, like a size 36 inch Levi's waist. And then I like to do uh, Levi's that are on the tighter side, that are on the sexier side that I can wear with my flannels. And then I like to do five different flannel, flannels in rotation at a time, all in different color ranges. All these kind of flannels that are like black and white or... Um, blue and black or red and red and navy things like that so that you know and for shoes for that I like to wear I mean they usually wear boots and I do have boots but I don't always wear boots in the summer because I just get too hot so I've switched out some Jeremy Scott uh, sandals slide on sandals from Adidas that I love that I actually did for funky offish but I moved it into my bear look so that's my casual weekend look that I've created in the shopping list I created for that Keep it simple. And uh, I haven't thought about date night right now because I'm not really dating. So, you know, we'll see what happens with that later. But, yeah, I mean, I always get inspired by, like, Kate Moss and kind of 60s, 70s silhouettes for that. So, um, yeah, so I'll do a couple of my examples of shopping lists for you guys, and then you guys can do it do it for yourselves. Um, what I want you to do right now is only focus on what you're looking for as far as silhouette, color, um, button down versus t-shirt versus blouse, whatever is coming from your personal style collages that you created. And from there on the next episode we're going to, that we do next week on next Saturday, we're going to talk about how to set your budget. So get your shopping list together and then next week we'll talk about how to set the budget so you can go shopping. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Shop with Sally. Have an awesome day. Check you later.